A lexical analyzer uses the following patterns to recognize three tokens T1, T2, T3 over the alphabet A, B, C. These are the three lexical analyzers used here. Note that X question mark means 0 or 1 occurrence of the symbol X. Note that the analyzer outputs the token that matches the longest possible prefix. If the string B, B, A, A, C, A, B, C is processed by the analyzer, which one of the following is the sequence of token it outputs? So, this is a question from compiler design token matching section. We have been given this string B, B, A, A, C, A, B, C and we can match this string to any one of these tokens and they are asking if for this string what will be the tokens output now let's try to go through this one by one the important point to note here is that it matches the longest possible prefix now let's take a look at t1 this is a question mark b or c star a which means 0 or 1 occurrence of a then b or c any number of times and then ending with a now the first one is not a so from 0 or 1 occurrence of a we will choose 0 occurrence of a then b or c star b b so we can match up to here and then ending with a a so b b a will match token t1 now let us see if t2 will match it says 0 or 1 occurrence of b we will take 1 b then it will be a or c but the next one is b so t2 can't be matched Let's take T3, 0 or 1 occurrence of C, the starting one is not C, so it will be 0 occurrence of C. Then B or A star, B, B, A, A, we can match up to here, B, B, A, A using this part and ending with C. So C meaning this is T3. So T1 can match up to here, T3 can match up to here and it clearly says it matches the longest possible prefix. So up to here it will be matched with 3, 3. And the rest we have ABC. This again we will go through these one by one. For T1 if we try we can take one occurrence of A since it starts with A. Then it is B or C. We can take one B and one C. And then it will end with A. But we don't have any more A here. So T1 can't be matched to this. Let's take a look at T2. 0 or 1 occurrence of B. There is no B so that will be 0. Then A or C star which there is one A here. The next one is B, so that needs to be stopped here, ending with B, so that we can match here. So, T2 will be matched up to here. Now, let us try T3, 0 or 1 occurrence of C, there is no C here, so that is 0. Then B or A star, A, B, we can match up to here, then C, ends with C. So, T3 will match A, B, C completely, and again, it will take the longest possible prefix here. So, T3, T3 is the answer.